Hey friends! Today I'm gonna show you a tip which will make your bass in your song both felt and heard. This isn't something you will do in every song, but sometimes you want to hear the pluck of the bass. Alright! Let's first listen to the beat I have made. Alright, in the next video I will go through some tricks I did on the vocals, but let's mute them for now and focus on the bass. Now you can see here that I used two tracks for the bass. One is the really low bass that you can feel, but since I wanted the bass to also be audible in the mix, I have this other layer of bass, which actually is an electric bass, but I didn't want to add any more low end, so I have filtered out the lows from this electric bass and boosted around 1 kHz to bring out that pluck sound of the bass. Right, now let's listen to the beat once again without the pluck sound, then I will bring it back and you will definitely hear the difference I'm talking about. I'm sure you noticed the big difference. A tip is to keep this bass, the low bass, as a dry mono signal to keep the low frequencies clean. This means that you should not add any effects on it such as reverb or delay, since this will make the bass lose its power and the low frequencies in the mix will just sound like mud. This pluck sound however can be made wider using some effects, but you should be careful if you still want to remain the punch. Alright, so that was my tip for today. It would mean so much if you would like and favorite this video, and if you show your support, I will keep posting new videos. That's it, I'll see you next time, and remember, you rock my friends! Remember.